about women's cricket man the ipl we are going to have four games uh yes and i think that's a good thing to happen uh, i mean the, the, not for the some, bbl uh not for the bbl and alisa healy is clearly not very happy along with a few other people uh, probably because they are going to miss out on that paycheck or i don't know <laughs> maybe they are concerned that uh, the indian women may not uh, be playing in or i don't know i mean how does it work out because i, I think I mean, they would want to play both right i think they, everybody would want to play both i think they the, the bigger thing they're trying to i mean what they're trying to say though they've gotten into a lot of ugly arguments online now with people is that uh, you know it, it's great for women's cricket that we're having this but let's let both these events happen separately so that you have more women cricket uh, televised and happening and etc but to be honest this is just a year in which the schedule has been thrown uh, thrown off and it's not that the the w- women's leg of the IPL was something which they intentionally trying to compete with the BBL on it's just a simple fact that you couldn't fit it in anywhere and you usually fit it in with the uh, IPL that's it i i think elisa hilani on all i mean they are aggressively reacting to it but what else and, can you and, do and yeah. you don't need a phd from oxford to understand this right? <laughs> <laughs> thank you boria <laughs> <laughs> and apparently uh, 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 gerard kimber said that Oxford doesn't give PhD. Anyways, I mean, like, uh, <laughs> I, I I don't know. So uh, what to make? So what is Borya trying to achieve by getting into that shorting match, man? I don't know, man. He call he is he is known as cricket historian. He has a PhD, so he should be Doctor Borya, in fact, shouldn't he? Uh, yeah, he should be ideally. <laughs> like Doctor D. <Dio? laughs> professor so D. Professor. Yeah. Professor. Sorry. 